Listen, guys, this is uh, <laughs> Mooches. Thank you so much. Guys, listen, this is the biggest drama you're ever going to hear in your entire life. Biggest controversy yet. It's called the Bayonetta 3 controversy. So it's the most powerful thing going on right now. So Twitter kind of exploded today with controversy in regards to Bayonetta 3, and I wanted to talk about it. So the original voice actor of Bayonetta from 1 and 2, Helena Taylor, came on Twitter to reveal that she was only offered $4,000 to return yeah. as Bayonetta. How much money would you get paid to be a voice actor for something like that? I feel like you get a lot more than that. For Bayonetta 3. In a video thread on her Twitter, she reveals more in depth of what happened. You know, she returned to audition again for Bayonetta 3 in case her voice changed, but she passed with flying colors. Did her voice actually change though? I'm a munch. What is a munch? What is a munch for Bayonetta? Does that mean that you're horny for them? Maybe. She's kind of hot. Bayonetta is a hot character. Did her voice actually change though? Is that why they didn't do it? To audition again for Bayonetta 3 in case her voice changed, but she passed with flying colors. But she oh, okay. was then offered in an insulting offer. Why? So Helena took it upon herself. Look at this. What the hell? I'm trying to listen to the video. She's to write to the director and writer of Bayonetta, Hideki Kamiya. Mind you, this is a franchise that has made $450 million, not including merchandise, right? So she wanted to basically just state her worth to the franchise and what she brought to it and what she is worth and that's when wow. she was offered the four thousand us dollars after her writing hideki kamiya and four thousand dollars is like what depending on your where you live two to three months worth of rent overall this story is just so heartbreaking and well I don't know if it's heartbreaking it sucks i mean the rent part doesn't matter i mean how much should she get paid so the Bayonetta franchise has made approximately four hundred fifty million dollars as of right now. What did she get paid the first time? That's the question I really am wondering. It's just a slap in the face to Helena. It's a slap in the face to Bayonetta. Let's be real. She, and obviously, only being offered four thousand dollars for the final offer, she didn't return in Bayonetta three as Bayonetta. I just hope she finds justice. She is speaking out, and it takes a lot of bravery to do this. And she really does deserve the world. And I'm wishing her all the best because she's such a talented, phenomenal actor. So Twitter. How much do voice actors get paid for these? And how many voice lines did she have? I don't know what that. I, I don't know. I thought this was going to be a bigger scandal when I heard it. I was like, oh my God, something crazy is going on. I don't know. It definitely sounds really low. A good voice actor has a salary of $124,000. That's a salary though. Like how many voice lines does Bayonetta have? You know what I mean? Does she just like have like a fart sound? Like, ooh. I will say one thing though. She could probably make a lot of money doing some of those. When people do those porns, say Bayonetta 3D porn, she could probably voice act that. Um... Yes, I wonder. I wonder how much. I don't know. Because I also know that. Um, <laughs> I also know that she's only the voice actor in America, right? There's probably a different voice actors. Like, there's probably a voice actor for whatever, you know, Asian places. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It sounds really low. I feel like there needs to be more context here. It sucks for her. You know, good for her speaking out. I wonder if I could find her speaking out. Helena Taylor, Twitter. She had three lines. There's no way that she only had three lines. She only had three lines. Dine and turn off memberships. You have to take a look at it in the they're, they're for on mobile. It's like more difficult to find. Um, but like just look in the description. The first thing it link is a link to my membership. So, to wow, yeah. you're very low, Bayonetta. Maybe maybe this is this, wait. There's four parts. Wait. Dude, stop this stuff. Stop this nonsensory. I'm never gonna. I'm, I don't want. I don't want it. Oh, my name's Helen. All right, all right. Let's watch all four parts. I gotta get like a burner Twitter or something. Hello, my name's Helena Taylor. Okay. And I am the voice of Bayonetta. Not no more. <laughs> I would like to explain to you why I didn't voice Bayonetta three. Okay. The Bayonetta franchise made an approximated four hundred and fifty million dollars. Okay. That's not including merchandise. Oh wow! I thought it was. As an actor, I trained for a total of seven and a half years. Five? Three years at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art, Lambda, with voice coach Barbara Barkery. 
and four and a half years with the legendary Larry Moss in Los Angeles. I don't know who any of these people are, to be honest with you. And what did they think this was worth? What did they offer to pay me? The final offer to do the whole game as a buyout, a flat rate, was 4,000 US dollars. Damn. This is an insult to me. The amount of time that I took to work on my talent and everything that I have given to this game and to the fans. The first game has three hours of cutscenes. Wow. Well, that okay. So that sounds like she talks a lot then. I am asking. That's fucked. The fans to boycott talk. this game and instead spend the money that you would have spent on this game, donating it to charity. Well, of course, I will, I will, I will certainly not be doing that. <laughs> uh, I'll just spend it on uh, food or something. But I understand. But I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. I didn't want the world. I didn't ask for too much. I was just asking for a decent, dignified living wage. What they did. Well, you don't. Okay, they probably offered you a decent, dignified living wage. You don't really want a living wage. You shouldn't want a living wage. You're the voice actor of the fucking video game that makes millions of dollars. You deserve a decent amount of money. Was legal, but it was immoral. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Now, those of you who follow me on Twitter know that I'm more of a lover than a fighter and sometimes think I'm not very much like Bayonetta at all, but I guess I am a little bit more like Bayonetta than I thought. All right, that's a little weird. Now you're being a little weird. I was with you in the first one. I understand that boycotting this game is a personal choice and there are those that won't, and that's fine. But if you're someone who cares about people who cares about the world around you? I don't. I don't. Who cares don't about, care about who those. gets hurt with these financial decisions? What's in that and background? I urge you to boycott this game. I decided to do it to stop. Dude, am I hearing fucking voices, bro? Stand up in solidarity with people all over the world who do not get paid properly for their talents. All right, you got it. Okay, she's hammering it all up a little too much because I was with her. I'm like, hey, listen, I don't like, I always hate it when people who probably do pretty well financially pretend that they're the common everyman, okay? She's pretending that she's like the standing up for all people who get underpaid. Like, you are getting underpaid. But, like, you're a voice actor that probably makes decent money. You know what I mean? So, like, come on. What are we doing here? It's shitty what they're doing to you, but... Fat cats cream off the top and leave us the rotten <laughs> <Cream>. crumbs. <laughs> you know, in England right now, there are nurses going to food banks to feed their children. Damn. This is not right. This is... And they're stealing from the poor. <laughs> not I'm acceptable. Sorry. It impacts mental health. Well, maybe the reason they only offered her four thousand dollars is because somehow, despite the fact that she is an act, like she's a voice actress that probably has an entire soundproofed room at her house, because that's usually the requirement, that you could still hear her fucking fish tank or something in the background. <laughs> because of it, I suffered from depression and anxiety. I worried that I was going to be on the streets. That terrified me so much that once I was suicidal. Okay. I don't know. I'm getting a little ham here. I am not afraid of the non-disclosure agreement. I can't even afford to run a car. What are they going to do? Take my clothes? Good luck to them. Does she just not... Is she just, like, poor? Is she poor? Like... I don't understand. Like, is she poor? Because I am I googled her net worth and I'm seeing $1 million. I feel like you're probably not that poor. Am I... $845,000 net, I, I, net worth. I feel like she might not be that poor. Because I, I just... I struggle to think that somebody that is a good voice actress... 
is struggling so much. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I'm seeing net worth, net worth estimation between 800,000 and like 1.4 million. Um, I just feel like she probably isn't that poor. Like she's every right to speak out, but she's making it seem like she's like the McDonald's worker that's fucking struggling. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this situation's getting fucked, but she obviously didn't get fucked on the first or second time. Um, I don't care. Papa Gut voice acting is not high paying. At least do a basic Google search. You stupid fuck. I'm, go I'm not gonna voice. I'm not gonna Google search voice acting fucking pay. I'm gonna Google search her fucking pay. I'm not gonna go. Hey guys, what's the average amount of money you make for voice acting? No, is she average? She fucking voiced Bayonetta. What? What are you? What are you on drugs? What are you? What are you doing? What the fuck is the matter with you? That would be like if I was like, oh, I wonder how much money A Rod has. Oh my god, I I looked at the the I looked at the average salary for minor league baseball. This is fucking preposterous, bro. Chill. What are you doing? Don't fucking caps lock at me, motherfucker. I'm gonna caps lock right back at you, bitch. Okay. You better knock that shit off right now, motherfucker. All right. Anyway, there's net worth ranges between eight hundred thousand estimations one point to one point four million. That doesn't mean that she has all that money in the bank, but that's like usually the net worth. It's everything that you own. House, car, you know, everything. Okay? So, I don't think that she's this poor woman. Okay? She's still getting fucked, but she needs to stop playing this like average everyday fucking Joe or whatever they call a, an average Joe in England. An average beans on toast or something. I don't fucking know. All right? Something like that. Whatever it is. An average mod, something like that. How's that sound? Bayonetta always stands up for those with less power and stands up for what is right. This is so and cringe. in doing this, you stand with her. <laughs> this is so cringe. Bro, the awkward silence is also cringe. Why is she being so extra here? All she had to say is like, yo, man, I got a really low offer. I think this is terrible. I think that the, the fans should reach out and they should advocate for me to make more money. They should say, we don't want to purchase Bayonetta without having this voice actress uh, because we love her. We love her voice. Uh, you're doing her wrong. That's all great. But then she's talking about um, she's talking about how she has like fucking trauma. And she had a suicidality from not getting paid this much. This is insane. This is such a disproportionate response. Guys, like there are struggles right now in like the UK or whatever they call it now. Didn't they disband the UK? Whatever, wherever dumb fucking place she's from. Like the energy costs are rising. She's not getting impacted. She's fucking crazy, bro. She's she she's pretending that she's like this fucking average everyday person. Sad stuff. Uh, um, for those of you who are interested, I'd like to go into a little more detail about the back and forth. I'm not interested, but I'm gonna I'll watch this. The first thing was I was um required to audition again okay because sometimes um voices change with time so i auditioned for the role and obviously passed with flying colors of course of course they yeah. then sent me an insulting offer we already know this so girl thought, you know what it was part three I'm going you don't have to, you don't have to recap part one to write to hideki kamiya you already know this you told I'm us already to write to him and ask him for what do you think that he could read it though because isn't he from japan right what i'm worth is Chris Pratt going to voice act Bayonetta? You're so stupid. <laughs> uh, so, I got a friend who... Intense uh, reality super chatted $9.99. Oh, I should have acknowledged this much earlier, my brother. Thanks for always making great content. I appreciate that, brother. I'm sorry that I didn't look at that until just now. To write in Japanese Null vision super chatted $2. Dollars. Thank She's you. just mad Chris Pratt is voicing Bayonetta. I wish. I wish. So... So I got a friend who uh, has been in business in oh, I got a time worth. Huh? So I got a friend who uh, has been in business in yeah. Japan to write in Japanese yeah. to him. Okay. I know he read it because I got a reply. What is the reply say? I got say? a reply saying that. Not for nothing, but I don't think that that motherfucker gives a singular fuck because I'm pretty sure my understanding of business. 
in this instance would be that there is a separate division for marketing and voice acting and all that other stuff, any infrastructure in the American market. So if they're making this game in like fucking Japan and they're going to release it, because I'm pretty sure that they do, right? And then they release it in America. It goes through like an American system for marketing, uh, everything. That's why like some of the box arts are different. The voices are going to be different depending on like what they, you know, everything's going to be different. It's going to be trying to, it's going to try to be more culturally attached. So why the fuck would he care? He doesn't have anything to do with that. You know? He values great. Look at the hashtags. Platinum Games, Nintendo, Bayonetta, Bayonetta 3, Bay Bayo Nutters. What is Bay? What the fuck is Bayo Nutters? I'm, I'm expecting tits. Oh, there's no tits here. Okay. Well, unfortunate. Anyway, continue. Greatly my contribution to the game and that the fans really want me to voice it over. And he... The memory of first meeting me as Bayonetta is a memory I hold dear. So I thought... All right, hey, then dress up like her, Mommy. Thank God. That was when they offered me 4,000 US dollars. Do you know, Platinum had the... Che oh, Nutter is crazy and British? Ah, so they're saying... This is this is Bayonutters. This is cuckoo. This is crazy. Okay to say that I was busy, that they couldn't make it work with Miss Taylor's schedule. Wait a minute. Wait, what? Work to say that I was busy. Were you? Were you doing other things? Make it work with Wait. Miss Taylor's schedule. Wait a minute. Well, I had nothing but time. Oh, did you have other work though, girl? Just wondering. They now have a new girl voicing right. her over. Okay. And I love actors. I wish her all the joy in the world. I wish her all the jobs, but she has no right to say she is the voice of Bayonetta. I created that voice. Well, she does have the right. I mean, you know, don't shit on her. I'm trying to I'm trying to see what's going on here. Who's the new girl? Who's the new girl on the block? Ah, it's another mommy. Let's go see what she let's go see her. Jennifer Hale is her name. Jennifer Hale. Okay. Uh, what else has she done? Why? She's won something. She's won awards six times, guys. So that's uh, why is it so small? All right. Um, wow. Okay. I want to see the disc. What is it called? The discography? The dingography? Of the first Bayonetta, 2009. Let's see what we got here. Helena Taylor. See what she's done before. A lot of advertisements on this uh, stuff. Let's see. She's known for Super Smash. Oh, it's a lot of Bayonetta stuff. Oh, I could see why she might be a little upset by this. Let's see. Let's see. She's, this is her. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So she did. Okay. It's a lot of Bayonetta. I wonder if she has a different job. I don't know. Okay. Voice. Um, she has no right to sign merchandise as Bayonetta any more than I have the right to sign as Eva Green even though I was her parrot on the video game The Golden Compass that portrayal is hers and hers alone okay they'll probably try and do a spin-off with Jan don't buy that either that's weird okay okay um I think I'm now going to buy the game. I was originally I wasn't only because I've never played Bayonetta, but now I think I'm exclusively going to buy a Bayonetta three. Um, um, just because she's kind of annoying at this point. So that might have been it, though. That's the unfortunate reality. This might have been her only like job offer, like. Uh, you know, like for Carrie Fisher, she didn't get a whole lot of money for Star Wars because she didn't really have much of a career. But John, um, Mark Hamill got like a million dollars to appear in the last episode of like episode seven. You know what I mean? I'm talking about the remakes. Well, not remakes. You know what I mean? Who, Camilla, the presidents of Nintendo. Yeah. And all other fat cats around the world. I am a fat cat. I would like to quote to you. Yeah. From the greatest moral teacher who ever lived, Jesus Christ, from his parable. Ah, oh, damn. Of Lazarus and the rich man. Lazarus was a poor beggar. 
with sores all over his body and he lived Dude, where the fuck the are you they're fucking seagulls that ah, fuck let me see something i have a little oh interesting interesting I actually okay hold on a second i think i figured out what what the problem here is I figured everything out, guys. Yep. I now I understand what happened. This is what happened. That's what happened. This is why. This is why she uh, only got four thousand dollar offer. Wow, incredible. You think that she could say this for me right now? You think if I gave her four thousand dollars that she would voice act this for me? So you like mommy tight? So you like mommy type souls? Then be a good boy and don't make me use my gun shoes on you. Damn. Why do her feet look so realistic though? What the fuck? It's kind of jarring. Okay. You lick the screen? Yeah. You're touching that all the day if you're using your mobile phone. That's gross, bro. You're going to get sick. That used to happen to me. Okay. Man, who yeah, she's got a fucking beach house. <laughs> or, or maybe she's just sitting in like a Friday's on the beach, like an Applebee's or something. Look at that background. <laughs> and feasted every day and wore purple. Lazarus even hoped for even a scrap of the rich man's table, which. So purple is a sign of like royalty, as it used to be, because the dye was really difficult to get a hold of. And, um, you know. If you actually, if you look at, uh, if you watched uh, Breaking Bad, Marie always wears purple, has a very purple accented house because she thinks that she's better than she is. She's a good character though. But also, this girl's wearing purple, so maybe there's a little bit of a, uh, you know what I'm saying? Maybe a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a, uh, the word I'm looking for. Fuck, you know what the word I'm trying to say, right? Metaphor? I don't know. You got it. Go. Never you know what Lazarus. I mean. Lazarus. Only the dogs pitied him and licked his sores. Mm. Lazarus died, and the angels took. I heard that dog tongues have healing properties, though. That's why oh. I always have a dog with my butt. I'm kidding. <laughs> him straight up to heaven, to the bosom of Abraham. Yeah, bosoms, titties. The rich man no. went to hell and suffered torment, and in his torment, he cried out to Abraham, Abraham, please save me. Take what? me up to heaven. What's happening here? To which Abraham said, Bayo nutters. Your joy in life. Now this is set for eternity. So he said, please tell my brothers who are living like I was. Please. Send them a messenger so they can repent. To which Abraham <laughs> said, this is crazy. We've sent you Moses and the prophets. I'm not listening. Oh, but if you send Lazarus, if a man comes back from the this dead, is all memory for her. They will listen to him. To which Abraham this is all replied, memories. If you did not listen to Moses and the prophets, it's unlikely that you'll listen to a man who's risen from the dead. Wow. I would like to thank you. <laughs> this is fucking the fans <laughs> who have followed me on Twitter. Commented <laughs> and Yo, you are a crazy world. motherfucker. Bless you. You I crazy you ass motherfucker. In the world. Bro, what the fuck was that, girl? What are the replies? Bro, these people are so positive. This this guy get convinced by this. I was annoyed at the I was annoyed at the clear censorship of the game, but now I'll definitely avoid the game. What do you mean? Listen, I was all for her on the first one that she put up. I was, I was all for it. Where it's like, hey guys, I got screwed. They only offered me four thousand dollars. I'm a very good voice actress. I made the bayonetta character uh, in like North America or wherever. Maybe for all English speaking peoples, I don't fucking know how it works. Um, I think this is ridiculous. Like they're underplaying, like, you know, they're, they're screwing me and this, and, and I would either, I would ask you to either boycott or show your support for me so that they can like to force them to make me the voice because I should have been the voice from the first place. I would have been all over it. Then she makes three other videos about how she's basically like the poor common man or common person and how Jesus Christ is going to smite the, his or her enemies down and kill them and send them to hell. And when she's worth like a fat, like probably around a million dollars, that was fucking nuts. She's the nutter. Maybe that's why they didn't fucking hire her again, because she's insane. Maybe she's hard to work with. And maybe they were like, you know what? We found this other girl who has a similar voice. She's not really difficult to work with. And so we're going to work with her instead. That might have been what happened. So 
cope, you bay and nutter. <laughs> Everyone, thank you so much for watching. And a special shout out to all my Patreon patrons, my YouTube members, and my Twitch subs. If you'd like to learn how you can contribute even more than you already are by simply watching the video, you can check the links down below, which will unlock a special feature depending on the platform that you subscribe to, such as Patreon here that will get your name right here on this wall. Thank you so much, guys, again for watching and have a good one.